Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be covering Packet Tracer 6.4.1.6 titled Configuring IPv4 Route Summarization. To begin, you'll want to open your Packet Tracer and Addressing Table and Instructions here. I'm going to go ahead and do a reset on mine since I just completed it. And that way we're starting from scratch. I do like to go ahead and give a fast forward time, two or three times, just get every, all the devices uh, booted up and initialized. Alright, and to begin, um, we have to look at some of our network groups, basically. Um, so we're going to be building summary routes for the HQ LANs. So we're going to have one summary route for both of these networks. Um, branch 1 will be the same thing, one summary route for both of these networks and branch 2 will be the same thing, one summary route for both of these networks. The final step is going to be one summary route for the ISP, which is going to cover this entire network. Alright. Um, so I'm not going to go too much in depth in this video into creating the summary routes. I will go ahead and show them to you here and I'll create a separate video explaining how to create a summary route. But here are the summary routes we're going to be using. And most of the rest of this video is going to be focused on just configuring your routers. Okay. So to begin, we're going to start in the HQ router, command line interface. And we need to configure a summary route to branch 1. So we'll give the IP route command with the network, the summary network address. And then directly connected, we're going to tell it to send all traffic out through the serial 000 interface for this network. <coughs> we do get that message if it's not a point to point interface, it may impact performance but note that we are going point-to-point, -point, router to router here. So we're okay. The next command is to create a recursive summary route to branch 2 LAN. And so that's going to be very similar. We're going to use the summary route network here. And we're going to give it a next hop address. And that's all we need to configure for the HQ router. To verify that, we can come over to our instructions and check our completion rate. You can hit check results and get an assessment to show that the HQ has the correct routes set up. And our next step is to create summary routes on branch 1's router. So we're going to be using pretty much the same commands, we're just changing the networks. And so this is from branch 1 to the HQ LAN with the next hop address 172.22.71.1. And then we need to create the summary route to branch 2's LANs. So we're going to follow with the same command and just a slightly different network. And the next hop address should be the same. The next hop for this is actually the IP address assigned to the serial interface on HQ. So it knows that pretty much all of the, the traffic for this LAN and for this LAN, it's going to have to come out and come to this port or this interface on the HQ to get to either one of those LANs. So that's the way we've set it up. And again, we can double check to make sure those are configured properly by 4 of 7 completion at this point. Um, up next, we're going to do our summary routes on branch 2. And so we're going to start with a directly attached summary route to the branch 1 LANs. And 
and so that directly attached we're going to give it an interface rather than a next hop and again it'll give us that, air, that uh, message that it needs to be point to point we're doing router to router here so that's fine and we can make sure that that route is correct and then we'll set up the summary route to branch 2 to reach the HQ lands. And this is going to be a recursive summary route. With the next hop address. And this should bring our completion up to 6 of 7. So we're done with these three routers. All we need now is to configure the ISP with the summary route for the entire network. And again, we're just following along using the IP route command. 22640. And you could do a next hop out to the HQ. I'm going to give it a an exit interface for serial interface 1. So that way it knows that all traffic for these for this summary network is going to come out of that serial interface. And again, we're router to router, so it's fine. And we can see that our completion comes up to 7 out of 7. We can go and just do the check result to make sure that everything's configured correctly. And then you can come into these devices, command line interfaces, and ping across. Um, if you're going to use the simple PDU, remember to start by going router to router. Make sure that you have connectivity there, and then go router with an, with an extra hop. So we see that those are all successful. The next thing we want to do, since Packet Tracer doesn't automatically build ARP tables, we want to do a switch to the local router, and these will all likely fail. And that's fine because it's building that ARP table. So we get the first one taken care of, and we can go and delete all those. And then our second one should be successful, even all the way across the network at this point. So you can go any which way and make sure that you have connectivity to the ISP. And that way we know we're good. If you're doing it as a ping, you don't need to do it twice. Um, the simple PDU basically only sends out one packet, and that packet is used to create the ARP table. There's no follow-up traffic to make sure you have connectivity. If you use a ping command, it sends out four packets. So you lose the first one building the ARP tables, and then the following three should all be successful. So just keep that in mind, that the ping you'll only have to do once because it sends four packets. The simple PDU you'll have to do twice. Um, other than that, it looks like that's everything for this packet tracer activity. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you in my next video.